let's study merge sort now merge sort is a very important sort for any data structure analysis as we need to merge the data together in data structures searching and sorting plays an important role so let's study merge sort and how does it affect the data and how does it actually work so it's merge sort for data structures now this is a simple pictorial representation to understand how does a merge sort works before going into the technical coding part of it now given an array of seven numbers now first thing the merge sort does it it splits the numbers into the part till it reaches a single bit each so here my array is divided into four into three so it is four here and three here and then again it is split so you will see in merge sort it is divide and conquer that is it uses the technique of divide and conquer it is first dividing my particular array and then it will be merging them all together so this technique is an implementation of divide and conquer and these things which are dividing the arrays and splitting the array is a part of a recursive function to learn what is recursion kindly refer to the video of programming in C and structured programming approach recursion video on the same YouTube channel now this is how I am splitting and here you will see as these were three elements so they are split into two into one so at this stage when we reach it is dividing part using recursion is over and now we have to merge them together using the merge sort technique so 38 and 27 at this stage you will see nothing is done they are just split and here, here when it reaches to single element each we start implementing the sorting technique 38 and 27 so they are sorted among themselves using any simple talk, sorting technique known as either selection sort or any other sorting method which will reduce my time complexity so 38 and 27 are sorted between each other so it becomes 27 38 43 3 so it becomes 3 and 43 982 they are already sorted and merged here 10 remains as it is so this here we've got a merge implementation at the first level now these four will be merged together and sorted using any sorting technique so it is now becomes 3 27 38 and 43 this becomes 9 10 and 82 and now these two are merged together it becomes 3 9 10 27 38 43 and 82 so you will see the number of passes it requires to sort a particular element even though my number of elements was 7 the number of passes it needed were 1 2 and in the third pass it was sorted my data is sorted now let's see how the merge sort actually works we split the array a to 0 to n minus 1 into about two equal halves and make copies of each half in array b and c sort arrays b and c recursively merge the sorted arrays b and c into an array a as follows repeat the following until no elements remain in one of the array compare the first element in the remaining unprocessed portion of the arrays copy the smaller of the two into a while incrementing the index indicating the unprocessed portion of the array once all elements in one of the arrays are processed copy the remaining unprocessed elements from the other array into the a this is what i showed in the example on the previous slide now this is an algorithm merge sort this is how it works this is an array a 0 to n minus 1 by recursive merge sort now what is my input my input is array a 0 to n minus 1 of elements and output will be array a 0 to n minus 1 sorted in ascending order so if n is greater than 0 means I have number of elements in the array I copy a 0 to n by 2 minus 1 2 b 0 n by 2 minus 1 that is I have split my array a and the upper bound of my array is copied into the array b that is if I had the elements then the upper bound is copied over here and copy the lower bound to c so I have split and this will go in a recursive manner till all elements are splitted into a single element now merge sort is merge b 0 to n minus 2 minus 1 and merge sort c 0 to n minus 2 minus 1 and then merge b c and a so what is happening the array b will be first merged into one then array c will be merged into one so we'll get a sorted array of b we'll get the sorted array of c and then b c a b c will be merged into the array 
A. Now this is the implementation of the merge sort. Int A, int I and int J. So this is the array which is passing and these are the two variables which will be passed for the number of elements in array A and number of elements in array B and in array C. Int mid, we find the mid of the array. If I is less than J, then mid is equal to I plus J by 2. Merge sort A, I and mid, that is to have the left recursion, that is on the array B, I need to do on the part where I need to merge it. And merge sort A is equal to mid plus 1 J. If this was my array, and let's assume this was my mid, then merge sort A, I mid will be following this path and A mid plus 1 to J will be following the right recursion. A merge A I mid mid plus 1 and J this is merging two sorted sub arrays that is B if this is sorted about itself and this is sorted among itself then these two have to be merged using the merge function. Now this is how my merge function works. I have a temporary array which is used for merging with a size of 50 int I J and K i is equal to i1 that is this value which is coming from my calling function j is equal to i2 which comes from here k is initialized to 0 this is beginning of the first list beginning of the second list while i is less than j1 and j is less than j2 that is while elements are there in both the lists if a of i is less than a of j then temp k plus plus and a plus plus so a of i it will be copied else temp will be having a copy from the array j and this is how it will be merged. While i is less than j1 that is copying the remaining elements from the first list temp k plus plus is equal to i plus plus while j is less than equal to j2 that is copy the remaining element of the second list once the first list is copied temp of k plus plus is equal to a of j plus plus transfer elements from temp back to a that is from my temporary array I need to copy the array to copy the elements to my main array so here is the copying procedure which will work i is equal to i1 j is equal to 0 i less than equal to j2 i plus plus j plus plus a of i is equal to temp of i temp of j so this is a simple copying procedure and it ends over here so this is how my function merge will be working this is a pictorial representation which we saw in the beginning the non-recursive version of merge sort starts from merging single elements into the sorted pair. So here is how it works but here we will be using recursion to split them into the single elements and then merge them together. If it is non-recursive then it will be merging single elements into the sorted array. Now analysis of the merge sort that is the complexity how much it takes the time and the space complexity. All the cases have same efficiency so theta n log n is the efficiency of my merge sort algorithm so the time required is 2t n by 2 plus theta n t of 1 is 0 if there's only single element in the merge sort array number of comparisons in the worst case is close to the theoretical minimum for comparison based sorting so it is nothing but n log n and the space requirement is theta n it can be implemented without recursion also thank you